Wow, the menu music of Alan Wake is a lot different than I remember it being. Alright, let's get back to Alan Wake. Uh... I'm a writer, damn it! I still can't believe that scene even happened. Do you remember that? Do you remember when he was drunk on the couch and he was talking about how he's a writer? And how he could finish like a million books in a, in a, in a day? If he was, if he was a writer, which he is. I'm a writer, damn it. I'm fed up with this world. All right, so we just awoke. I think Barry's still passed out. Oh yeah, we, we're in a dream. And we're like in third person, we're in first person. Alice, Alice, where are you? Alice, I'm coming. It's all right, I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. <laughs> this was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. Okay, so now, wait. I a remembered being seeing it in a dream. Cabin dark. We can see what happened. Alice would have never turned the lights off. We can see what we're gonna get to actually see what happened. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so this Alice? is Alice. This is normal. This is normal. He goes upstairs. We went upstairs and looked for her, and she was gone. And then we found out that she was down I here. I remembered and thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. All right, so <sighs> diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that. The next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. What the hell is that? Is that Alan? Okay, so he came up to the surface. We don't know this. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Oh, let's go down there. Can we go down there and see us? This is when Alan decided to become a writer. Jagger had Alice, and so she had me. I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the cabin? Where did you get there? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. <gasps> I thought he didn't like Alice. Well, see, their relationship is complicated. Alice tries to do nice things for Alan, and then he, he gets angry at her and screams at her. And then Alice goes to see doctors and tells them that he she wishes that Alan would hit her. So the dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. I'm kind of scared of puppets. But she must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice. Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You Why is... laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Why is Alan's out-of-body persona so much taller than his real-life persona? Like, I'm so much taller than Alan right now. Look at this. Alice? Why is Alan... Maybe she's he's, like, floating. Here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. Uh -oh. All she wanted was to Hold help. Hold on, let me move the chat window over. So I can it, it, I can see it like more closely. Be right. There we go. You killed her. No! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. <laughs> she wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. Oh. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. No, she just told you she's dead. And she doesn't have Alice. You can write whatever you want, and it'll come true. That's what she said. Oh, this is going to be loud because it's a cutscene. Prepare your ears. Yes. All right. Oh. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back.
<gasps> Me? I just pointed at myself in real life. No. <laughs> I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobwebs she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Okay. To bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. Okay, so this is kind of making more sense. Before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. This is actually kind Zane of a cool story. And far away, but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my heart a long time ago. What? She looks so old. Big Daddy? From from Bryoshock? I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Barbara. Okay, so then the week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. But the cabin's not even real. Conscious, we established that the cabin fast. wasn't real, right? Because she said there is no island on that lake. There's no cabin the on that lake. Zane terribly, throwing him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Kept you safe that night as you go barreling off a fucking cliff. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for <gasps> it. It's Nightingale. This is a this is an in-game song, so I'm not worried about it. That's the guy who shot at me before. Oh shit! This is a fucking to be continued moment. This is a good song, by the way. There's an altar road with mystery of Tom I like this song. I think I have this song on my iPod, actually. I definitely have this on my iPod. Now the new she was his happiness and he rained about a grace. I just wanna told the story. Previously on Alan <laughs> Wake. Under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some okay, we just saw this. Can I skip this? Write my escape. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest. Yo, who going to Moose Fest? Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And Wait, Moose? They just said Moose Fest. Deer Fest sucks. I can't believe that guy just didn't shoot Alan immediately. What? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Or is it a light? Previously on AMC's Breaking Bad. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. That's disgusting, oh, Barry. Wait, we're in jail now? Oh, Al. Al, this is not good. That about sums it up. He, he didn't even vomit. There was nothing. Nothing came out. Oh. I'm never drinking again. Uh. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, we're Al, but we're stuck here. Nightingale. They're not yeah, gonna... Interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first. Shit. We're gonna execute him. Tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, 
I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. Why does this guy just keep calling me authors? It's not funny. Every time he sees me. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there? Brett Easton Ellis. It's not funny. It's never funny. He keeps doing it. Sheriff, I wanted my Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I The lights will flicker on and off. Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed Yo. you were here on official business. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my, my god. god. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh, okay. You're just going to accept oh, that? Man. Just oh my god is all you had to say? All you had to say to that was oh my I god and that was it? Power on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's all you had to say to that. All right. We need lights. Oh, okay. Let's go. There's lights in my office. Yeah, whatever you say, Stephen King. Whatever you say, Dr. Seuss. Wow, okay. Where did, Here are your where's things. Barry? What do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light, check. Cynthia, she lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Rescue right, chopper? Let's get back to your friend. Yo, I want to ride in the rescue chopper. Where's Barry? Barry's going to be gone. I need you to stay here. Wait, why? What? No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a I don't care about the pieces of paper, numbers. really. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? <clears throat> They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list. Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? Oh, he covers his island. Hey, Dad. hey is this like a secret society? Can you That's do cool. this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me, though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. Okay. All right. She's she's adjusting to this very very quickly. I think the first time I played through this, I read all of the manuscript pages that I could find at least. Oh hell! Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. Okay. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff. Okay? Are you sure? Okay then, but hurry. Okay then, but hurry. Okay, don't worry, I got it. I'm a writer. I can do anything. Oh, not so fast, J.K. Rowling. What? What? Oh, there was some icky paint like goop in the ground. Listen, Alan, I've told you this before. Your wife is dead. That cop, she's she's a solid, she's solid. She's not Emily Osment, but she's a solid, solid, attractive woman. I mean, I'm just saying. Now, you got Barry, he's, he's left behind. Nightingale got taken away. For all she knows, you're the last man on earth. You know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Alan. I'm just saying. It's not cheating if she's dead. In light, you can hurt them. Wow, thanks for that tip. Fresh seafood. Do you guys ever think about the name of the place legal seafood and think like what uh, as opposed to what? Illegal seafood? Legal land food? What type of restaurant is it? I've never even been to legal seafood. I don't actually like seafood that much. I like tuna fish. 
and I like um, salmon. I actually haven't really had much fish. I need to try more fish. Um, my birds! They just threw fucking planks of wood at me. How did they do that? What the fuck is legal seafood? There's one of them in the in the Paul Blart Mall that, that I live near. Of course they get rid of the fucking Rainforest Cafe, but they don't get rid of legal seafood. Fuck off. Alright, these birds are gonna fucking kill me. This squirrel's trying to kill me. Ah! Eat this, birds. Salmon is very good for you. Sardines are nice. That sounds like a... That's a troll. Wait a minute. That's a troll. Wait a minute. That's a troll. Nitrogro. That sounds like something that would give you a disease if you ingested it or even walked near it. Hey, Sheriff. Your password. Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Oh, you Never you don't say. Though. Really? The town can get weird at times? You don't you don't say. You need to bypass the damaged control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on. Oh, ah, that's smart. Good Who the job, fuck man. says okay, that? Stick close. Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. That smarts. I like how he said, what am I, an electrician? Like, and then not even before he was done with the sentence, he was, he fixed it. He fixed it. Like, oh shit. She's just, she's a police officer and she has no problem just shooting these people. What does that mean? I'm a writer. I'm not an electrician. Ah! She, she's like shooting these people. A, a, like, what the fuck? How? Aren't there only five chapters in this game? Oh! She just has no problem with this. Dual wield. What have you done with Kyrie? She's part of the darkness now, Sora. Sora. She's part of the darkness now. Can't save her. Why don't we just get in one of the cars and run them all over? <gasps> Whoa! He had the same idea as Deerfest. I'm a writer, damn it. I thought he was coming back. I'll just let her take care of them all. Okay, Mountain Tim. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Yo, this is fucking scary, dude. I, have to use I don't think I even have any more. Do I have a flare gun? I don't have a flare gun. Frog legs are extremely good. Listen, there's nothing in the world that could make you try frog's legs. Nothing. Okay, if Emily Osmond asked me to go on a date and said we were going to forget frog's legs, I would go. But I would pretend to put them in my mouth. I'd like put them to the side and then I'd be like, mmm, that's good. And then I'd put them in a bag and she'd be like, what are you, what are you doing? And I'd be like, I'm packing lunch for preschool. I'm packing lunch for preschool. Michelle, you can't bring a whole chicken breast to school. What are you doing? I'm packing lunch. But please, freeze! Freeze! <laughs> she fucking shoots him. <laughs> freeze! <laughs> Ass right there, freeze hole. Can we go in here? This place is all lit up. Oh, this is where I was at the beginning. This is where the the lime and the coconut was. Can I turn that on? Yo, turn on. Let's turn on some pizza kids. You ready? 
Wow, this jukebox sure I'm is slow. Of explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week, you can't remember? Oh, I remember now. What? Oh, I remember now? All right, let's go back here. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Wait, what, what did that say? Use? It said something said use. Oh, pick up. I really wish you could turn off the flashlight in this game because it's way too bright. Anyone here had pork chitlings? What the fuck is a pork chitling? I remember. There, do you remember that episode of, of Hey Arnold where uh, Phoebe is eating pork rinds and it uh, and she starts sleepwalking because of them? I, I think I gotta go in there. I said, Doctor! I don't think I have to go in there now. What, what, what do I do then? Maybe I don't need to do anything in here. Maybe I just needed supplies. Okay, I think I just needed supplies. Pork rinds are great. Yeah, but what are they? That's the question I have is what are pork rinds? Pork cracklins. That's not even a real thing. You just made that up. There's no way there's anything called a pork cracklin. That doesn't sound real at all. And I thought New Yorkers were rude. And I thought New Yorkers were rude. <laughs> How many people are gonna pop you out of these porta potties? The right uh oh, some of the cops. Pork cracklins are pork rinds. What? All right, that I still don't know what a pork rind is. Someone probably told me, and I, I didn't look in chat because I haven't been looking at chat as much because I'm engrossed in this story of Alan Wake. I probably would enjoy pork rinds knowing me. You know what I really like? Beef jerky. Beef jerky is so goddamn expensive though, and I don't know why. Beef jerky is like one of the most expensive snack foods that I can think of. Literally, literally 15 people said what they are. Well, they're fried pig skin. Okay, so it's like bacon. What is that? Barrel boy? Crimbus tree? Here. We're going it's Christmas trees. Merry Crimbus, everybody. Jerky takes a lot Have of meat to make. Watch my back, Wake. Oh, this is just another It's an ambush. It's another wait for a person to open a gate while you defend them episode. Ow! Ow! You work on the gate! Let, let me... Alright, you know what? Actually, you can help. There's too many of them. There's like 8 million of them. Ow! God, I hate this game. I might turn the game down a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the game down a tiny bit. Beef jerky makes you barf jerky. That was terrible. Have you even had beef jerky? Are you thinking of Slim Jims? Because Slim Jims are like not good. Well, Slim Jims are good, but they're they're they like they taste like bootleg beef jerky. One thing I had when I was younger is I was in like fourth grade, and this kid in my class. Jay, he brought in um, like, like freeze dried calamari. It was like, it was like in a bag, and it was like like little. I don't even remember what it looked like, but I remember I really liked it. I was like, can I, can I have some of that? And he was like, yeah, yeah. Jay, what did you think of Alan Wake? 
but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get? Well, this one's actually spewing electricity. She's gonna die, dude. The one you fiddled with wasn't spewing electricity. Let's find the keys. This film does not have a dog in it. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Why don't we like call the the fucking like super cops? Who do the cops call if they need to call the cops? It's like an endless chain of mailmen that just deliver each other's mail. Hey, aren't you supposed to be writing your essay? Too fucking bright. This game has too much fucking bright light. I'll take a hunting rifle. I don't care. Okay, yeah, then why don't they call Obama? It's too goddamn bright in here. Can't see shit. Can't see shit, Wake. Need those keys, though. Keys gotta be in here. The military. What's that? All right, let's go. Flashbangs, yeah, boy. I got the keys. Okay, sheriff, I got the keys. What? What? What's the problem, Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh God! Oh God! Barry. Uh oh. Barry, look out! Barry, move! <gasps> Did he die? It looks like it dodged him. Barry! I mean, he, he dodged it. Wake. He's okay. Oh, okay. Thanks for why? Why would you ruin the suspense like that? The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> why? Why not just leave it for suspense? Cause then you'd your your players would be like, oh shit, Barry. Don't worry, Wake. He's oh, that's a terrible statue. What type of goddamn backwards hillbilly town is this? Terrible statue. It's not recorded when Bright Falls was first. I don't read any of that. Don't care about any of that, actually. Alan Wake wants suspense. It's rabbit season. It's rabbit season. And we're all out of rabbits. You know, I was thinking about the... Uh, it's, it's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. I was thinking about that. Wouldn't it make more sense if he were to say, it's time to kick ass or chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Because by using the word and, it implies he's going to do both. Right? So it's like, it's it's not like, it's like he was going to do it anyway. We and being out of gum store. doesn't make, doesn't mean he's going to kick ass. You know, like he was going to kick ass with or without gum because he used the word and but if he said or then it would imply he was going to do one or the other go back to bed go back to bed she says the sooner i get out of here the sooner you can all get back to life as usual i hope you're right come on let me get this door open wait you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. It means he's just gonna kick ass. Well, listen, I think about things like this. <laughs> they're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. I like how these characters are still, like, joking around despite this and telling citizens that it's fine and go back to bed if i could read that that sure would be great bob the bear goes shopping i can't read those first words something fun children's books choose and contemplate the human the human island what? The with the with inside. 
black lace. Okay. No, we're not going to start talking about the Berenstein Bears. Not going to start talking about them. Buy three for two. Wait, what does that say? Buy three, pay for two. Why not? Why not just say buy two, get one free? <clears throat> Alright, well, I just wanted to look upstairs. We'll follow Sarah now. Sarah? I don't see Barry. There he is. Look, wake. Maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. Oh, okay. Well, that's not very far. Hey, Sarah, you ever go on a jungle gym? You gonna, Do I have to wait for you to get this open? Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Welcome to 68th Annual Deer Fest, September 15th to 18th. We got bucks and deer and does and deerlings. I'm going to give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get oh, Okay, it. now we got to defend. What? Let's take a break. Why are these enemies so annoying? Like, why do they just say things in a dumb voice that someone could make an audacity in like two minutes? Do you think Alan Wake wrote them to have stupid voices? Like, he, he wrote all this, right? Like, he came up and talked to me with a really dumb voice. He had to have said something like that. Pick up lan- I already have a lantern. And there's some of them that are just like really fast for no reason. Right there. Like why are some of them really fast? The other ones don't have supernatural powers. Fuck are you! Oh shit. Whew. Kill him. Kill him! Listen, I'm bringing the, the fucking flares. You gotta kill him. That's how it works, Sarah. Omega-3 fatty acids are good for your heart. What if Alan Wake is actually Alan's sleep and this is all a dream? I feel like it probably is all a dream. Like, I feel like the ending of... I remember not liking the ending of this game. And there is, like, a sequel thing. This game has, like, a spin-off sequel of that's really weird. Ugh, and it's shorter. It's called Alan Wake American Nightmare. That guy just tripped over that thing. Sun Bunny, what type of Twizzlers did you eat? Because Twizzlers are actually pretty gross if you're not eating the right kind. Just so you know. We can agree on that, right? Like, the, the standard, like, hard, like, cherry-flavored Twizzlers, those are pretty shit. You know which ones are good? It's like the softer, strawberry-flavored ones. Those are good. Rainbow kind. Oh, rainbow kind is good. Rainbow kind is good. Watch out! He ducked into cover! Watch out! He ducked into cover! Ow! How come there's no- Hey! How come there's no girls? I just realized this. After all this time, how come there's no girl shadow people? Is it wrong to shoot girls? How come there's never a girl with the shadow person? Maybe their voices would sound really, like, too funny and they were like, oh, we can't do that. Oh, what? Come on, I just got fucking triple deckered. That was garbage. This is too hard. I'm just gonna stay up here by the door where they can't get me. They can't get me up here. I'll collect some supplies and then I'll go back up there. Flashbangs. Alright, there we go. Alright. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this. I'm gonna lock. stay up here. Oh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Let's take a break. 
we'll just stay here and let them come to us. We'll shine light on them from up here. They'll funnel up here. It'll work out great. Oh, no you don't. That's, far That's far enough, Bingus. That's far enough, Scrimmy Bingus. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. See, this is better. You have a question for me? Ask your question. Okay. There's a lot of different ones, Mr. Lights. I don't- I actually have used s several different ones on stream. Oh, shit. Keep shooting. Good shooting. All right. Okay, good. We're good. Why? I hate the fast ones. They're so dumb. Fuck you. <laughs> I got him. All right. Can, can we can you stop? This thing takes so long to recharge. They're really, I think flashlight upgrades would have been a great thing for this game. Like, like ones that you could actually upgrade yourself as opposed to just picking up different ones. Because I would just like do recharge time a million times. Girls go to college to get more knowledge. Boys go to Jupiter okay, to get more open. stupider. Let's go, wake. God damn it. What's my opinion on the Windows 10 anniversary update? Wow. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that means. Why? Well, it's tradition. There's a lot of things that are tradition, you dumb idiot. Tradition doesn't mean it's like signatures. Why do we even bother? There's like electronic signatures and stuff where you could like use a cursive font. What's the fucking point? Yeah, I'll electronically sign this document. Let's just write my name in a fancy font this time. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Okay, let's just go this way then. Oh shit, we're going through the crypt. This is fine. You have the right to remain what? I couldn't hear you. What? You're dead. Let's go look in the incinerator. It's pretty much a forced update that spies on you. Hmm, that's not surprising. When everyone was telling me on Twitter the other day when I said I'm not upgrading to Windows 10, people were like, you're a fool. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Hmm, I'm fine with 7. Thank you very much. <gasps> no. I didn't even do that. Who, was that Barry? Oh! <laughs> you don't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. <laughs> what? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Pretty good. That's smart. Barry's smart. He looks like he's in fucking Team Fortress 2, though. He just looks like a Team Fortress 2 character now. Barry's the only the fucking likable character in this game. My favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. Oh, God. You can I wish I didn't say that. <laughs> hey, I want a headlamp. I want to play it. Bastard. Hey Slade. Shiggity shiggity swell. Guess what, idiot? It's my flaming eye of Mordor. have a pilot's license you're cleared for departure tonight springs uh 
No offense, Sheriff. All right, where's the helicopter? Where's the hopticopter? That's what I called them when I was little. Wow, that wasn't even that impressive. That wasn't even that big. If you're gonna say timber, you should cut down something bigger, you, you asshole. Eat this. Fuck you. Oh, I didn't even hit this one. What, was he out of the light's range? Yeah, he's... Oh, what's behind me? He just got hit with a chainsaw. Holy shit. Since light heals Alan Wake, do you think if I gave Harry a, Harry a big hug, I would get healed? Christmas lights are great. Christmas lights are great all year. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for take When I get my own place someday, eventually, hopefully soon, I want to have Christmas lights everywhere. Because I love Christmas lights. They make me happy. Alright, I hope I get to fly this bad boy. Let's get this bird off the ground, Denny. Hopefully the same thing won't happen to us that happened to to Linda Barangi in the season three season premiere. The season three first episode of Dr. Steven's Rule. What? You will never get her back. What? Is this? Well, get ready. I'll hold them off. What? 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 My little Linda girl burned like a dang piece of toast. Are those explosive? Oh yeah, they are. They don't really do anything though. How come I don't just get in? Oh, there's a flashbang here. Oh, he's not even... Eat this. Eat my shorts. That was a Frimpson's joke. I have my own pizza oven in my house. Alright, let's see. Let's use a flashbang. No, I said let's use a flashbang! There you go, I didn't even kill this one. There you go. Is there ham ham heartbreak tonight? Heck... Is is Ham Ham tonight heck boy? Uh Oh shit. Uh what time is it? Eleven? I'm skipping everything I dare on the checklist. Probably not. Probably not. Probably no ham ham tonight. Wait, what is this? Oh. Huh. I just turn that on and boost four. See those before. Oh, fuck. Alright, can I, can I get in now? There's no way helicopters take this long. There's no way. But what are these things, like, flying down at me? Just let me in the helicopter. This is stupid. Let me in. Keep fighting, Wake. We're almost ready to take off. Oh, we're almost ready? I would like to go in now, though. He really can't throw very far. Alright, that was great. That was a great throw. That was a great throw, Alan. This thing is like throwing debris at me. Can you just throw this? Okay. That one got stuck in a dang pole. Did Denny hack the game and make this part endless? Because I don't like that. That guy's not even gonna bother fighting me. He walked away. Alright, I'm getting in. Why was it so loud? You better put an end to this. Just get me a weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. Why don't we just fly away? and not come back, or go tell the military. I hope you know how to deal with this, Wake. I guess you New Yorkers are used to rough situations. <laughs>
Told you she likes you, Alan. Coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. My birds. You can't say that. Oh my god, we're gonna get taken down by fucking crows. Just like that other helicopter. Ooh. Oh shit. These characters' mouths are always agape, and I don't know why. game got really fucking action-y. I mean, it always is action-y, but it got, like, really action-y. You can't say that! I mean, honestly, I'm still enjoying this game, but I kind of want it to be over at this point. Ow! Can I shoot this? Can't shoot that. I don't have a gun. Hmm. Can I crawl under it? Maybe go in through the side? You could get you could get in there, Alan. You could do it. Are you kidding me? He could get in there. I hate that. That's one of my least favorite things in video games. For the door to open. When when a when a person could clearly get through something but they can't. Is Alan Wake the new Final Fantasy X? No, because this is only like the fourth stream of it. Is there like a thing I can use? Like wire cutters? A gun. I can probably shoot it off. Yeah, there's infinite ammo here, so just in case you fuck up. I bet I bet that's how you do it. Nice. Let's go. Who even did this? Go under, go under quick. Fine. We gotta wait for it to open slowly. Oh. I really wish I still had my old flashlight. That was way better than this one. Oh shit, okay, that actually did something this time. Go fuck yourself, hard hat. Go fuck yourself, Bob the Builder. Alright, let's keep going. Alright. Well, this warehouse was totally locked off, so there's no way there's bad guys in here, right? Right? Oh yeah, shotgun. Flares. What was the point of making me drop all my stuff if they're just gonna give me all this stuff again? And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just yeah. Oh, okay. Guess not. You're fucked. Nope, he's not fucked. He he somehow resisted that. Oh no. Flare. Why why didn't that work?
Oh my god. Oh, he's not even ready. Are you ready? Nice fucking outfit. Can you, can you fuck off, all of you? I really hate this. This combat is not that fun. Ow. And it's not that I think the combat's bad, it's kind of just every enemy is the exact same thing. You know, there's different enemy types. There's enemies that throw things at you, and there's enemies that don't throw things at you, and there's enemies that charge at you like that. But every enemy boils down to just shine your flashlight at them for several seconds until they die, and that's it. I kind of wish there was more variety, I guess. I'm going to save the barrels. Oh, shit. I hate these. These big boys. And this flashlight runs out of juice way too fast for something you need to hold down. It's frustrating. I think frustrating is a good word for the combat in this game. I don't... I... I you know... It, it's kind of just like boring. It's boring and frustrating. Ow! Out of batteries. Gureto! Gotta reload. Gotta reload. Gotta roll, roll, roll on my hover around. Fuck you! <gasps> no! It's blow up, blow up, blow up! Yes! That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. If this guy kills me with that. Come on! I've played Crystal Chronicles. I had Crystal Chronicles on the GameCube. I've never streamed it, but I've played it. I own it. And I didn't actually like it that much. Then again, I never played multiplayer, so... Oh my god. Is that everyone? The music stopped. I hate this warehouse. This warehouse sucks. What was that? A thermos. Give me the thermos. I could probably have just run through that whole place. Do you think what do you think the speed run record for this game is? The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. I like Final Fantasy X still. I don't like it as much as I did before I streamed it, but I still like it. I think the boss fights are fun. And I like how campy it is. Do I have to take a boat? I'd rather just not fight guys. That's another sign that a game doesn't have enjoyable combat when you actively just try to avoid enemies, not because they're like a threat, but just because you just don't want to fight them. Like this thing, the, the big guys take way too long to kill and you can get like stun locked really easily. The speed run for this game is two hours and 44 minutes. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I could do it. I could do it as long as I could do chest skip. Why would guys that are afraid of light hang out in a fucking power plant? Alright, I'll reload. Wait for my battery to recharge because I don't have any batteries and you can't actually fight if you don't have a charged battery, so you just have to wait. Oh wait, I didn't did I open this last time? I didn't even do this last time. Flip that dang switch. Look at that. Checkpoint. <laughs> And then every time you die, you have to re-listen to the stupid dialogue.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Why did the lights turn off? Do I have to do it again? That just kills him immediately. What? 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 Was he like didn't... I, I like got hurt there. I don't know what the... What? Okay. Listen. Man in fucking yellow raincoat. Enough of that. Enough of these games. There's too many of these goddamn guys in here. I don't like it. Alright, I'm, I'm pinned up against this wall. Nope, we're good. Can you, can you just die, please? Thank you, God. Uh, let's go. Speaking of Steve Brule, where do you think the show's going yet next? I haven't actually seen the season finale yet, so if something happens, please don't tell me. Alright, let's see. Uh-oh. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Oh, I have flares. Okay. Put one there. Put one there. We'll kill this one first. Another flare. Oh, shit. If you push them into those things, they die. I see you. You didn't escape from me. There you go dead all right uh activate this nope just press it once then get on it and climb it up look at that Where are the next games I'm planning on streaming? One of which, one of them is going to be Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Because I, I really want to play that. Um, what else is on the schedule? Thousand Year Door is happening, I wouldn't say, I'd say early fall, Thousand Year Door will be happening. Um, what else? What else? Uh, ukulele when it comes out. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot planned right now, I don't think. I kind of am just playing stuff as it comes. Like, Alan Wake wasn't planned. I just saw it in my Steam library and I was like, eh, I haven't played Alan Wake. Could be fun. Could be a fun sh Whoa! Pikmin 2. Yeah, Pikmin 2 could happen. I think Pikmin 2 will happen soon. flare gun it automatically switches you to the flare gun you gotta remember to flip, switch off of it okami is something that i actually think that i would like to stream because i never finished okami i got like halfway through okami and then i it's not that i didn't want to keep playing it it was one of those games where you just get sidetracked by another game and then you never go back to it i think okami could be fun silent hill games would be fun I've only actually played, I think, Silent Hill 2, and I've never played the other ones. And I never even finished Silent Hill 2. More birds. Who are you talking to, Alan? There's no one here. Just run. Just run through the birds. Oh, shit. We have, this is like a cycle. It's all connected. All right, well, then we're better off going to the other side. Will I ever play the first Hamtaro game? I'm going to be pretty ham hammed out after this. Besides, Sun Bunny apparently is streaming another Hamtaro game, so you can just go watch her stream if you want to watch more Hamtaro. These birds are going to fucking kill me. Did I miss it again? No. Go, go, go. Did they just all despawn? I'm pretty sure they just fucking despawned. Barry? Why don't just pick me up? Just go down a couple feet and pick me up. Actually, Tyrese, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream is one of the games that I was planning on streaming at some point soon. 
I forgot about it, but I, I was looking at that. I got it running the other day and wanted to see if it worked in a window and stuff. I think that could be a fun stream. I have played it before, unfortunately. And I've read the short story too, which I like a lot. Ow, Jesus Christ. Why can they walk in that in, in the light of this helicopter? They shouldn't be able to. Alright, another thing I don't like about this game is how fast Alan runs out of stamina. You can sprint for like two seconds and then you're done. Alright, fine, I'll use the flare gun. Wow, that was surprisingly ineffective. And I got fucking killed by a road sign, great. Batman Arkham game. No, no real interest. I never was big in bat- big into Batman. Never really liked Batman. I was never big in- I'm not really into superheroes at all. I never have any interest in seeing the superhero movies. Was never really into the comics. It's like, yo, all these people is like, we all fuck it, Aquaman. I'm like, fuck that. That's lame as fuck. Yo, you just go talk. What? Why do they move so fast? Fucking, yo, you could talk to dolphins. Congratulations, Aquaman. The Arkham games are what got you into Batman. Well, it ain't gonna happen with me. Besides, things like Batman give Denny nightmares. Oh shit, okay. Stream, all right, let, let, me, let me get this out of the way. Music and rhythm game streams are never, ever going to happen. Not that I don't like them, but they are, there's no way to stream a fucking music game well, you can't talk. You have to focus on the song. You can't stream stuff like DDR or Hatsune Miku or Rhythm Heaven. They don't work. You can't. It would not be a fun stream to watch. I wouldn't be able to provide commentary. It would just be quiet. It would be the, the game and no talking. And if if you're just gonna watch a silent playthrough, then just watch a silent playthrough. Oh shit. I mean, other people, maybe it works for other people, it wouldn't work for me. I can't stream rhythm games. There's no way I could talk casually and fucking keep a beat at the same time. I'm actually very good at keeping beats, but I'm. There's. There's no way those birds. What? What? Just. They can't touch you! They're fucking birds! Alan Wake, a.k.a. Birdemic. Monster Hunter is something that I would consider streaming, but the only one I'd be able to stream is 3 Ultimate, and, you know, I've put, like, 500, 600 hours into that game already, and then I put another 500, 600 hours into Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, and now I'm already 100 hours into Monster Hunter Generations, so it's like, do I really want to go back? And start over a, an old Monster Hunter game. Despite 3 being my favorite. 3 is my favorite Monster Hunter. I like Moga Village. I like the feel of 3 a lot. 3 is like the most comfy Monster Hunter game. I know that's a meme word, but it, it's true. I like 3 the most. Oh, fuck Jesus! Bayonetta would be frustrating. People wouldn't like to see me play Bayonetta. I actually streamed Bayonetta 1 once and it didn't work right because I plugged headphones into the the Wii U gamepad and when you plug headphones into the gamepad it mutes the audio in the game so I had to like play it with no sound for myself I've played Charles Barkley shut up and jam Gaiden and I feel like if I streamed that my reactions wouldn't be genuine this area sucks I gotta not run through it all right let's just go through it slow go through it slow I have one flare. Where, when do I get the white to, the white tanuki suit? The white rider suit? I played Sam and Max a while ago and I actually didn't like it very much. I don't the characters annoyed me. Is that is that like a I don't think I've ever heard anyone else say that. 
The characters in Sam and Max annoyed me for some reason. This sucks. This area has so many fucking people in track seats. Mario Sunshine is something that, that could happen too. I don't know. Which one's the, the bunny? Max? No, Max is the dog. Which no, Sam's the dog. Sam's definitely the dog. Max is the I recognize Max the has that personality that's like I'd seen a <laughs> painted all over the area. I'm so nutty. I don't like that personality. Like, I don't know. I don't <laughs> it never I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't like it that much. I think it was the Telltale one I played. Oh shit. Miss Weaver! Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it. Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time, young man. I've been waiting a very long time for you. What, like a week? You saw me like a it's week a ago. Well lit room. Excuse me. What you need to drive the darkness back? The well lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us? Hmm? You've been breaking rules, young man. A secret route, a lit route, an old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's strange. All the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it? Young man, you're the one Young who man. to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. I have been preparing for these times. The dark tides. You have found my ashes. Jesus Christ, this place is too bright. Yes, please. Take what you need. This oh is my god, okay. We do Tom's work, don't we? Hurry! The switch is on the wall facing the shore. Yeah, well, I'm collecting stuff first. Let me collect stuff. The switch is on the wall. Which wall? Over here? Oh boy, I get to fight more enemies now. I can't wait. Oh my god, I can't wait! I probably should have reloaded my guns. I don't like how enemies spawn behind you. I don't like that! Safe haven. Probably should have hit this first. Can I not? Can I not hit that? Thank you for subbing, Michael. Alright, let's see. Oh, fuck! It was a waste. Alrighty. Oh, my favorite, my favorite gameplay. Point light at thing for 20 seconds until it, it's vulnerable. Jesus Christ, I'm a writer. I shouldn't have to put up with this. Darkness waits in my dreams. Me too. Me too. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I'd stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. Rule number one, never go out at night. Well, I failed step one. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. It's too many buttons here. Have I ever played The World Ends With You? No, and I've heard it's very, 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 very good. I've heard it's one of the best DS games. So that's something that I could, could play someday. Isn't that a game with characters who got shoes that, that are too big for he got damn feet? They got boots too big for he got damn feet. Hold on. Let me 
I need. Oh, this is a puzzle. It's a puzzle. There you go. Bringo. Rule number two, keep the lights on. Well, that never gonna s finish that. We're never gonna fail that rule because you can't fucking turn the flashlight off in this game. Out of ammo. Oh, that's not good. Who designs these things? Yeah, who designs these things? Didn't Alan fucking write this story? He's, he designed it. He wrote the story. The transformer yard went dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. Who designs these things? I didn't know you could fall. I can't recall any other places in this game where you could fall and die. An enemy's gonna spawn and like fucking attack me. Oh, there it is. What a surprise. It's like, this game definitely needed enemy variety. It definitely needed enemy variety. Enemies you have to fight in different ways. And different guns. There's only like two types of guns in this game. And the flare guns don't really count because they're, they're like super guns. That wasn't there before. Who's going to spawn now? Who else wants some? Take care of your tools. No, you take care of your tools, asshole. Sometimes it sh it's weird. It's inconsistent with when it shows you that enemies are spawning behind you. Because sometimes it just doesn't bother showing you. And then other times it does. It like, makes a whole big deal out of it. Like, it didn't show me that guy. It didn't show me that guy with the chainsaw. But it showed me the two lesser guys climbing over the ledge. I don't get it. Unless this is the same guy from before, and he just didn't die. It looked like he died. There he goes, now he's dead. Alright, let's get out of here. It's the same guy, yeah. Let me in. I did it. I did it. You gonna say anything? This way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. Okay. Oh, was this here before? This way. We need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. <laughs> such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. What? And then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. I knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. You're gonna tell me and to go in there, aren't you? To see the end of it at the 
You're gonna tell me to go into this fucking sewage pipe, aren't you? How do you know all this? Tom, that's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You just stay. This is literally slower than the Mweeps in Ocarina of Time. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! Sweet love of... Barry! Uh-oh. We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. <laughs> Jeez, okay. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Oh well, no. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. What the hell was that? He jumped like a fucking Olympic diver. He put his arms up At in the air. I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Yeah. Maybe you could take a lesson from her. Let's go see if Barry and Sarah or the official shipping name for them is Barra. Or Sari. I like Barra better. Sreddy. Official ships that are similar to Sreddy. I hate these birds. I hate these birds. Oh, you can't sprint down this log. Gotta walk slow. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'm getting sick of you, Alan Wake. Alan Wake was a bad choice. I should have played something else tonight. Oh, well. Oh, well. Just go slow. Yeah, if, if Alan... Doesn't he feel like if he wrote the story... Well, then again, when he was talking about writing a good horror story, he said there would have to be sacrifices and people would have to die. I didn't do any. Why did they? Why are they exploding? I'm not. I'm not touching them. Guess Barry could be dead. I don't remember what happens to Barry. It's fucking birds, dude! I swear to God. Pretty sure I'm 90% done. Then maybe I should just finish it tonight. It's only 11:30. I could probably just finish it and then I'll never I'll never have to stream it again. Barry! Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Alright. Well that's great. They dropped a flare, stupid rookie mistake. They dropped two flares, stupid rookie mistake. You kinda need those. Penumbra, actually, it was either this game or Penumbra, so Penumbra is something Barry! I'm going to stream, too. Barry! Stay back. Oh, no, there's no more games after this. It's already 11.30. Look how many of them there are! Are we supposed to fight them all? I guess we are. I wanted to see if I had any flashbangs, but I got. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not wasting my ammo. I'll waste my flares, but I'm not wasting my ammo. You guys can kill him. Right there. All right, fine. I'll shoot. I'll shoot. Ah! I've played and beat Penumbra before. I can handle the Penumbra pu pu puzzles. I liked Penumbra. 
I remember the scariest thing in Penumbra for me when I was playing it wasn't even intended. You know when to make an entrance, it was like the, we one of the dogs like glitched and like hit. broke one of the doors in one hit. So yeah. it was really oh, fucking loud and there was a huge cloud of like debris. Right. And it was it was really scary because <laughs> it, it was like a jump scare. Weaver will meet us at the dam. All right, Weaver will meet us at the dam. Fair enough. Fair enough. Scariest thing in Penumbra is the worm. Okay, my friend thinks that too. I don't think the worm is that scary. The worm never scared me. The ending of Penumbra where there's that guy, that freaked me out too. You have to like walk towards it. Ugh. Barry, this really isn't the time. She has no no fucks about what Barry has to say. Oh boy, I can't wait for another fucking pack of enemies. It was just an Alaskan bullworm. What the hell is what thing? What the fast ones? I've I've fought the fast ones so many times. Why are you guys just- this sounds like this should be dialogue for when these things are first introduced. But this is like the end of the game. I've been seeing these things since like the first level. Can I just run through here? They'll die. When you're in checkpoints, they die. No, I'm just gonna keep going. Yep. I like Barry's Christmas lights too. Oh, nice. I really wish it didn't switch you to the revolver, but okay. The flare revolver. Heads up. Here they come. Uh-oh. What else is new? Here they come. Like We have to hold them off. Oh my god. No god damn it. I press this button? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, I think something's up. Hitting up. What? She was just gonna say something. Freeze. And she got cut off. Cut him off. Say that. I oh, I'd wear Christmas lights in public. In oh, I, pro I probably know. wouldn't. I don't like to draw attention to myself at all. No, oh, it's Mountain Tim. It's almost here, Wake. Just hold on. Okay, I'll just hold on. This game has a lot of, like, standing and defending and while waiting for things to happen, too. Which is just one of the weakest fucking things. Come on. Come on. Can't believe Left 4 Dead 3 came out and nobody even noticed. They call it Left 4 Dead 3 because there's only there. three people this there's time. Into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas? Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Oh, okay, now you're denying things, Sarah? After all this, you're gonna deny what I'm saying? No, I'm just gonna run through as fast as possible. Speed runs. There's a button over there that'll open the door. You got it. What? Why is it this, this button? Yeah, three also stands for third person because it's a third person game now, and they replace the zombies with zo with shadow people. Oh, okay. What about me, though? Oh, of course. Of course. You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. Oh, my God. Okay, of course. Don't get yourself killed. Ow. Please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry. Wait. I'll take good care of Barry. 
Okay, thanks for taking care of my pet Barry. Oh no. Spools. You gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get killed by flying spools! I'm just gonna skip them. Spool skip. Spool skip. Spool skip. Worked. Worked like a charm. Why didn't I get a checkpoint? There's supposed to be checkpoints in here. Excuse me, I'm supposed to get a, a checkpoint with this light? Maybe it's because I never killed the spools. Oh no! Okay. Well lit room. Please don't. Please don't while I'm climbing the ladder, please. I could probably use this to kill the birds. If I can aim it. Can I aim this? Okay. I was ridiculously outnumbered. It's a good thing I have this super powered thing to kill them. I was ridiculously outnumbered, except for the fact that I had this super weapon that was conveniently placed at the point where I would be ridiculously outnumbered. How convenient. Uh-oh, overheat. What type of stupid light is this? I love convenience. All right, is he dead? Are they all dead? Why does it keep doing slow motion for some of them? I think they're dead. Wait, there's one right there. Oh, now he's dead. Is, it, is they all dead? Oh, nope, 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 there's one right there. Can you fucking die? Oh my god. There we go, they're all dead. Wow, great! Enough. You will go no further. Oh no, she dropped a tree. I will go no further. What is that? A bus? Stop. Stop now. No, I'm gonna keep going though. I'll keep going. This feels like a finale to me. I hate how those cutscenes are so much louder than everything else. This feels like a finale to me. I don't know if it is a finale, but it feels like one. The story def definitely doesn't feel like it's reaching a conclusion, but, but the gameplay is making me feel like it's a conclusion, so that's good enough for me. I'm definitely gonna die at least once. At least once. I wish Alan had more stamina than a fucking child. Actually, children probably have more stamina than adults. So, oh! Oh my god! <laughs> if only there was a sound option for cinematics in the options. It's too late for that now. It's too late for that. Is Alan Wake actually two babies in a big coat? Well, can babies write? That's the question, because he's a writer. I don't know if you knew that. I can make this. Are you supposed to be able to make that jump? I think I jumped too early. It has like this weird delay to his jump. Sort of like Prince of Persia. You know, it's like you jump, but then it, it takes a second. Hey, why am I here? Did it like skip a checkpoint? I think it skipped the checkpoint. No, it didn't. Wow, stair skip. Really good, really good. There you go. Yeah, you gotta you gotta like predict it. You gotta jump a little little earlier than you were would intend to. Ah! 
Run, goddammit. Well, maybe if I had any stamina, Barry. Look at how slow I'm running. Oh, we're all together. What? Did, what is she? <laughs> She's. St <laughs> you made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. Right. What are you doing, Sarah? Foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There's no. You okay? Barry, what are you doing? The power is fail-safe. All the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly. Barry's floating. He's floating. Right. Every few seconds, he keeps like dropping. Watch. He'll do it again. There's an old army base at Raincoke Point, north of here. It was active nope. during the Second World War. They operated here. You mean World then. War Two? Yes, they did. It's my place now. Oh, it was a little event you might have heard of called World War One. How much closer am I to the end of this game? Is this it? Is this it, Luigi? Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore because six and thirty-three and one eighteen need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. Okay. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. What? I can get to her now. I can finish this. All right, let's finish this. I just want to finish it though. <laughs> Come on, how much left is there? Let's finish this. Previously on Alan Way. Oh my god. A horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same. Two years ago. <laughs> oh, good, another flashback. My head was about to explode, and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. The guy who said 90% was lying? That's not true. I know there's only like five chapters in this game. I feel like I, I have to be almost done. Pick up glasses? Oh my god, is he going to put on sunglasses? Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. That looks like a photo. Is that a photo? Maybe not. I... Is that a photo? Yeah, I'm a writer. Maybe you've heard of me. Alan Wake? 
Yes, I'm a writer. Oh, yes, you've heard of me. Of course. I'm a writer. No, I do believe I was flying first class. I'm a writer. That looks like a photo. It is a photo. Well, it does... That is a photo. That's definitely a photo. Yes, I'm a writer, actually. Maybe you've heard of me. Alan Wake, yes. No, I should be in the VIP section. I'm a writer. Yes, my gourmet painkillers. I'm a writer. I'm Alan Wake, of course. Yes, my see-through bathroom mirror. Of course. I Very expensive see-through bathroom mirror. I'm Alan Wake. I'm a writer. You probably have heard of me. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Yeah, but you probably heard of me. I'm Alan Wake. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. On your TiVo? Now, too mad to record it. Yeah, she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Ow, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! Parties are part of being a writer. Parties are part of being a writer. Yo, let me turn on my TiVo. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, grumpy. I'm Alan Wake. Don't talk to Are me, you bitch. With me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice, but suddenly I was angry. Mostly at my. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning <laughs> the I was glasses. You said you'd be home at midnight, and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. He's a writer. What do you mean, tour? We can get back to normal, and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. <laughs> Little did they know that vacation would be their last present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Yeah, this has got to be the end. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Did, did, did he just, is he crying? What? Wait, did Alan just point his gun at Sarah and say, take, did he like stick her up there? What? See you later. I feel like Alan just pointed his gun at Sarah and said, like, take her gun. Like, I think he like, he like robbed her. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't No, it's, it's called the day, daytime. It's called daytime. On Zane's page. I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. This has got to be the ending. Alan really is not a likable character, I would agree. He's really just not a likable character at all. Sunglasses Alan was a good likable character though, and I wish Alone, he'd stayed around. In daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself, 
It didn't really matter. My course was set. <laughs> okay, I'll take it away. God damn it. That was really funny. They just like, this is the finale of the game, and they put a fucking huge just Verizon billboard. Like, the Energizer advertisement has been here f throughout the whole game, so like, that isn't as weird, but like, you just, it's like the, it's the finale. It's the big ending they're building up to, and, and there's just a huge Verizon poster between us always would be i could feel it like what the hell was that i will kill your wife ah i will kill your wife it's, she's already dead alan she's already dead you killed her with your drinking Maybe I miss glasses, sunglasses, Alan. I will kill your wife. Can I take one of those vans? I just love the convenient b blockage. That entire segment with the Verizon billboard did not need to exist. Do you think Verizon paid? Why, why would Verizon want to advertise in Alan Wake? Were they really, did they need that much publicity? Oh look, there's another car. I better be able to take this shit. You're listening to Verizon Radio. Your number one stop for Verizon Radio music. There's another car there. Why does this... Why does this game even have driving sections? I mean, I guess that changes up the gameplay. I appreciate it. But it's weird. It wouldn't. Oh, okay. Thought maybe I could take it. I s I brought that up earlier, heavy. Why why advertise? Like why would Energizer want their name on these shitty batteries that last like two seconds? I hate the batteries in this game. They're terrible, terrible batteries. Oh, good, another roadblock. Can't stop Alan Wake. Can't stop Alan fucking Wake. Can't stop me. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Oh, come on. All right, now I definitely need to get out. Wasn't it daytime two minutes ago? Yes, it was. It was. You may remember this. This is actually the finale of uh, of the Parish campaign from Left 4 Dead 2. I was talking about this with Ellis the other day. I fucking miss Left 4 Dead. I used to play so much Left 4 Dead. What the hell? Why don't they make another one? Oh sh! What the hell was that camera shit? 
What, what is going on? Whoa. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> this is like fucking pop-up pirate. Okay. All right. But yeah, I, I used to play the fuck out of Left 4 Dead, and it was so fun. I really miss it. I really, really miss Left 4 Dead. I had so much goddamn fun with it. Left 4 Dead would be a fun stream. I feel like doing going through expert campaigns with some people would be fun. I think Giraffes and I would, would like to do that. Giraffes was the person I used to play Left 4 Dead with the most. Oh, shit. That's probably... You <laughs> this is stupid. This is stupid as fuck. I think when, when Giraffes gets back, I'll ask him if he wants to do some expert campaigns. Because those could be fun. Those could be a lot of fun. Alright, I'm going to take my time and, and fix this. I'm going to take my time and destroy the things that are trying to kill me instead of just running. What the hell? Well, you're in luck because they're actually working on Left 4 Dead 3. I genuinely, genuinely do not believe that. I don't think Valve cares about making games anymore. Ow! Just got to take it slow. This whole section is like... It gives you the impression that you need to run through it. Like, it feels like you're in a rush, but if you if you run, you're fucked. And I'm gonna get killed by this refrigerator. This, this part sucks. This part blows. I hate this. Even when you go slow, you get killed by fucking refrigerators. Left 4 Dead 3 will be VR for sure. Oh, great. I can't wait. I can't wait for VR Left 4 Dead. What the hell? I'd just, I'd just like to play Left 4 Dead with a fucking mouse and keyboard on my screen, please, thank you. Ah! Did I just use a flashbang? I didn't even know I had flashbangs. I'm walking so my health will regenerate. Yeah, get fucked, refrigerator. another one okay so far so good oh good another refrigerator oh it, it fell it fell through the crack good Ow! isn't uh the walking dead the walking dead season three a telltale game coming out soonish let me tell you, I'm not on board with that. I really didn't like Season 2 at all. And and I loved Season 1. What, what is going on? Fighting a fucking bulldozer now? It's like, a, it's just a roadblock. So I'm just gonna shine my flashlight at it. What? Nice to see you. Is this his car? Is this Alan's car? Is that why he said that? I don't even remember if this is Alan's car. But the thing is about season three is season two had very different endings. So how the fuck are they going to write themselves out of that? What bullshit is Telltale going to pull to make it so your choices didn't matter? Because they're clearly going to do... Is that a monster truck? Am I just fighting a monster truck as... Is this a fucking demolition derby? Is this how they wanted to end their game? I, I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. It's... They're gonna have to pull some bullshit. They'll do, like, a time skip, but then, like... Because the, the, I've seen the, the trailer, and Clementine's a lot older. But, like, the endings are so different that, like... How would they have all led to the same place? There's no way that all of those endings resulted in the same fucking consequences. 
I just, I really don't like it. I don't like how, how much your choices don't matter in those games, because they really don't. They really, really don't. I don't even think there should have been a Season 2. Alright, spoiler alert for the ending of Season 1 of that game. Um, I'll open the pause menu several times. I'll flicker it when I'm done with the spoiler. I think that killing off Lee was a terrible, 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 terrible idea. And they either should have killed him off and not made a sequel or let him live and make a sequel. Because Clementine is a shit protagonist. Lee worked as a protagonist. Clementine does not. And I think that Lee needed to stick around if they needed to make more games. If you wanted to make more games in that universe, Lee needed to stick around. And, on top of that, the way Lee died was really, 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 really stupid. His, his death scene was really, really impactful, but the fucking, the fucking way he just gets bitten, like, out of nowhere, was so fucking dumb. It was just, he, they spend so long being careful, and he just gets bit by accident by, like, one thing that's, like, sitting under a fucking newspaper or whatever. Like, fuck that. That was so dumb. Clementine is not a good protagonist, and I don't think she ever will be. Because the problem with it is that she had, like, we, she had an established personality already in the first game. You know, it doesn't make sense for her to all of a sudden be a bitch in the second game. It's just stupid. I don't like it. I don't like... I, I really liked Season 1 a lot. I hated... Oh, there, there it is again. Uh, <laughs> I, during the finale, just put that... Gotta put it up there. I really just hated the way they killed off Lee. They should not have killed Lee if they were gonna keep that series going. Alright, that's it. Spoilers are over. Spoilers are over. It's called maturing. It wasn't that long. Am I stuck? The time difference between se <laughs> between season one and two is not that long. All right, let's go. Spoilers brought to you by Verizon. Oh my god. Was I supposed to go this way? My, my guide is telling me to go that way. And there's more road. There's another truck up there. I'll just go get it. I must have to go this way. Wolf Among Us is amazingly underrated. I actually have never played that, and I kind of want to. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to swing swing a right. Guess I'm doing it on foot. You're supposed to swing a ride at the fucking Verizon sign. But yeah, honestly, I'm not looking forward to Season 3. Because I hated Season 2. I honestly don't like Telltale very much. Their games are buggy and they don't, they're, they, they're, they're like engine sucks. People snap into position between frames and like, it just, it, their, their games feel like shit. I had to get the gate open. <laughs> you don't fucking say. <laughs> they're like, the, it, it's weird. The Walking Dead season one felt like it was put together really well, but since then it feel like, it feels like the production quality of their game has gone down. Does anyone else feel like that? I feel like that The Walking Dead Season 1 was their magnum opus for, for storytelling games, and that was it. They were a one-hit wonder. I, I kind of agree with you. I kind of agree with you. But I've never played The Wolf Among Us, so...
bringing up someone said Be Telltale's even worse than Bethesda in the in the bugs department. I was I was watching a video today and in the con it was a like a video showcasing like shitty Skyrim bugs and glitches and whatever and one of the comments was but th the bugs are part of the charm of the game. I love them. It wouldn't be a Bethesda game without them. LOL, they're my favorite part of the games. And that right there is why they can get away with shit like that. It's because people have that mindset. Bethesda can get away with doing lazy, stupid shit in their games because people have just learned to accept it. And I don't I don't think that's cool. Are we going to have another demolition derby? Another is that Brontosaurus going to come to life right there? It's definitely going to come to life. Something's going to come to life. This is another demolition derby. Look at this arena. We fucking Mad Max now? Sunday, 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 and Saturday. Oh, it's one of these things. I sh I every time someone tells me I'm 90% done with the game, I need to take that as like a you're 60% done with the game. Because that's what it always means. What what is that? What what? Oh, I knew it! What a shocker! Oh! The battery in this car sucks too. I'm, I'm, it, the car broke. The car broke. Oh! I never got to see the end of Mad Max because someone died in front of the theater and I never saw it after that. Somebody died in the movie theater when you watched Mad Max? That's fucking hardcore, dude. Kukap. Net Kukap. Ow! Flashbang. Get fucked. But that didn't stop me. Alan, Alan, you can make it. There you go. I'm glad that there's so many trucks. I'm surprised we haven't driven a Verizon truck. It's like, it's so weird that they're sticking all these Verizon advertisements in the last stretch of the game. Like, put them, like, at least pepper them throughout it so it's not so awkward. Yeah, we need lots of advertisements in the last, in the ending of the game. It will really push the emotional conclusion. We have lots of Verizon billboards. When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. Oh my god. This definitely is the last chapter, so I'm just going to finish it. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Alan, isn't it pretty clear that, that your wife is dead at this point? Like, I, I don't think that you should have any hope. I can tell you one thing for sure. I'm definitely not going to be streaming Alan Wake American Nightmare. Because that would be a fucking American nightmare, let me tell you. Hey, somebody, do you ever think when you see stuff like this, what it would be like if someone threw that at you? Like, maybe a monkey? What the hell was that? Why did that move? I will never give her to you. Wow. I will never. What just happened? Night. 
I had to flick an old battered lock which I knew with childhood magic. I had to write a happy I ending to a horror game. story. I had I hate to it. save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. All right, we're going to do it. There you go. Fixed. Goodbye, Alan. Hey, somebody, when you see stuff like that, does ever, like, do you ever think about what would happen if someone threw that at your head? Like, maybe a gorilla? I will never give her to you. That still sounded just as loud to me. It's a fucking car vortex. Farmers are the opposite of hunter-gatherers. What? Why did it just say that at the bottom of the screen? I guess that was a subtitle for someone who said something. Oh good, I just wasted the flare again. Great. Keep going, Alan. Walk towards the light, Alan. Hurry up, Alan. We gotta save Alan's. Alice. Pick up all the fucking things that are conveniently placed there like this was fucking planned. Why does this just kill them? Like, why don't I have to shoot them after this? Also, why is this here? This couldn't have just been there for those three guys. Oh, there's another guy. He's, he's like, being... He's hiding. I don't care. I don't care. Gonna push this? Fine, we'll push it. Push. All right, let's go. Keep pushing. Boy, howdy, I sure am sick of this. Boy, howdy, I sure wish I'd stopped. It's 12:14. Boy, howdy. Mirror peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. Good. Is there going to be like a giant final boss? Can I ride in this? <gasps> yes! That was officially the lamest minecart section in any Donkey Kong game I've ever played in my life. That was the weakest, most pathetic minecart section I've ever seen. I've ever seen. That was pathetic. Really, really bad. I don't know what Rare Rare, Rare, Rare was thinking. Wait, what? Why is my thing... T oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Thank God for this quest marker. Good, more... Wh wh why am I down here? I, w <laughs> I was just up there. Oh my god, please, Lord in heaven, just let this game end. Please, God, I'm so fast. You went and saw Finding Dory and you'll give it a solid 5 out of 5. I'm, I, I don't know why, I'm just not interested in Finding Dory. 
haven't been interested in anything Pixar's made in a long time. And I've heard Finding Dory is good. I just, I don't know. I'm still not interested in it. I don't think I've been to the movies since Star Wars. I don't think I've been to the movies since Star Wars. And Star Wars was the first time I'd been to the movies in a really long time anyway. I hate these fucking birds. I hate them. I hate the birds! Alright, well, I got a flashbang for moments just like this. Did he die? He died, okay. Oh, and there's birds. Flashbang, flashbang! Get me inside. Whew! How much longer is this game? <sighs> How much fucking longer is this game? Where's Cauldron Lake? Where's the Verizon sponsorship? Where's Verizon Lake? I'm just glad that, that uh, The Incredibles 2 is the last sequel Pixar has planned. Enough with the goddamn sequels. I'm so sick of sequels. Alright, well what if I told you I don't want to fight you? There's a generator here. Alright, look. I'm gonna put down this. It'll help me do the generator. Oh, that was smart thinking. That was smart thinking. You're using your noggin, Wake. No, I got all the Pokemon names right. I kind of fucked up on Chingling because I called him Chimeco and I kept going. But I knew his name. I knew his name. I just called him Chimeco and then everyone was like, that was wrong. And I was like, what? What? I didn't even notice. I knew his name. I know them all. I almost fucked up on Thunderous. For some reason I couldn't remember Thunderous's name, but I remembered it. Oh good, it switched to the flare gun again. I have six fucking flares? Nice. Okay. What the hell is this? Alan, please, fucking do some cardio. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, get off. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Shoot it. Don't you die here, Alan. All right, there we go. Toy Story 2 and 3 are the same movie. Listen, I didn't notice that when I when I saw the movie, but then I watched YMS's video on it, and it's really true. They are like very, very, very similar films in terms of like what happens in the movie. I still liked Toy Story 3, but when you really like break it down and look at what happens in the movie and compare it to what happened in... I thought I could run underneath it. <laughs> When you really break it down and look at the similarities, it's pretty crazy. Oh, crap. Last boss is going to be Alan's wife riding a bulldozer. It wouldn't even surprise me at this point. I love all the Toy Story movies. I still like 3 despite it being extremely unoriginal. You got friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and your mouth and mouth from your nice warm bed. You just remember what your old pal said. Boy, you got a friend in me. 
Yeah, you got a friend in me. Some of the folks might be a little bit smaller than I am. Bigger and stronger too. Maybe. But none of them will ever love you the way I do. It's me and you, boy. And as the years go by, a friendship will never die. I needed to get the generator running. You're gonna see, it's my destiny. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Shimata Toy Story Randy Newman Where where the fuck do I go? Where's the generator? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see the generator. Did I just have a stroke? What happened? What are you talking about? What do you mean, did I just have a stroke? Apparently these are contact grenades, because they seem to go off when you hit someone. Oh no, that one didn't. Let's get me fucking in here. Oh, now we gotta wait for the elevator. We gotta wait for the elevator! Randy Newman showed up on stream. What? When? What are you talking about? I'm a huge fan of Randy Newman. I actually have been told I do a very good Randy Newman. I've, do you want to hear it? It's like, You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road Woof ahead in your mouth and mouth in your night warm bed Turn back now Nope I got a flare I'm gonna literally kill all this stuff in one shot so sorry Literally two shots Literally t Literally three shots Literally four shots that was a boat. Through the mine shaft. No. Fuck you. Just finish the game. Oh, that one's that one's buzzy. You gotta shoot at that one. Good good game. Who made this game? What else have they made? Does anyone else know anything that... Does Does anyone know... Why does it keep playing that same cutscene? It's the same one of Alice reaching out her arm. Um, does anyone know any other games these, these developers have made? Cauldron Lake? Are we here? They made Quantum Break. I've never played that. They made Verizon. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard of that. I saw some billboards. Oh, wow, I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. Yep. They made Luigi's Mansion. Wasn't Luigi's Mansion a prequel to this? I mean, besides the obvious one, like Luigi's Mansion. This game wants to be a lot of things, and I don't think it does anything extremely well. I don't think this is a bad game, but you it's... can't win. Alright, let me ask you something. Did anyone see that hole in the, in the road? Did anyone see that? Because I didn't. Right when she says you can't win, there's a fucking hole that's a trick. It's a fucking troll. Wait a minute, that's a troll. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't kill me, washing machine! And there's birds. I can hear birds. They made Max Payne 1 and 2? Really? You can't win. This has got to be the final boss right here. This tornado. I think I'm winning. I think this is the final boss. I, th I, th I honestly think this is the final boss. I don't even know if I'm hurting it. I'm seeing like circles appear. There's infinite of them. Is this... There's infinite of them, so I feel like this is... Hold on. Let me let me try... Getting closer. Let me get closer. I, I gotta wait till stuff flies by, and then I, then I can get by. Alright, there we go. You will fail. Yeah, you'll fail, you fucking asshole. Oh, this is working. This is working. It's all in your head. Do you understand? It's all in your head. You're making this up. No, you're not. Fuck you. I, the birds is real. I saw a bird. I can't see anything. Is this the final boss? Did I just win? I think I just won. All right, what's my time? What's my time, Denny? 8.42? Really? Pretty good. Pretty good. Use the clicker. Use the clicker and jump off the cliff. It's the logical thing to do, of course. Oh, Alan Wake. Oh, don't land like that! He was he was going in for a belly flop. What? What happened? Shh, baby. You were having a bad dream. Oh my god, does this end with it was all a dream? It was just another nightmare. It doesn't, right? I would have remembered no. that. I would have remembered it. Fine. You're home. I would it no, okay, it was not a dream. Everything's fine. Yeah, okay, alright. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! All roll reversal. Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. My okay. fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan? You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? Where's my where's my goddamn glasses? I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. When does this the game end? Yeah, that was a good ahead. ending right You're there. What genius. is this part? I'm so proud of you. No, let me Come through. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. No, how about you let me through? Can you let me through? All right, I can't get through. Oh. Do you understand? It's all in your head. All right, you can go around this way. Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. What? Oh, okay. Yo, okay, Mr. Marshmallow Head. You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. What? Happy Wake? Who is this man? Don't mind him. He's Mr. Scott. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. What? <laughs> He's Mr. Scratch? <laughs> which one do I shoot, Denny? Which which one's which one's Mr. Scratch? 
This is such a fucking artsy game, god damn it. I thought this game was gonna end three times now. Whoever said this game is 90% over like an hour ago, fuck you. That was Alan's nobody. This is Kingdom Hearts. God damn it. Oh yeah, you, I like having to wait. That's good. How about instead of spawning all I'm of these useless you. physics? What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No. What do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? When you don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're, you're my muse. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? Yo, this is hitting a little close to home, Alan Wake. Can we stop this dialogue, please? What are you doing, Alan? Stop! Put the light back on! Alright, this isn't. The, what was said before was hitting a little close to home. Nothing about the light stuff. Alright, let's keep going. Bird-like cabin, there it is. Nani? I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible No, mistake. you're not Barbara Jagger. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Thomas. Put it down. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. Jaggers. Now you will never get her back. This whole ending. I am much older than you. Yeah, you look like you're at least 60. Older than your first work of art. Well, yeah, I've only been writing for like 20 I years. Find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. What did, did he just click? Did he use the clicker? I thought he was gonna like pull a pin in a grenade or something and blow them both up. Is the house floating? No, it's not. Okay, I thought it was maybe floating on a rock in space or something. Yeah, what the fuck was Mr. Scratch? What the hell was that? Am I underwater? What is happening? Where's Barry? I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. Alice? Alice? Yo, is y'all is y'all as confused as me? Oh no! At least we're at the end now. Sure looks like a lot of time is passing. What? Was it Alice? Was she at the bottom of the lake this whole time? How long could she hold her breath? Yeah, but where's Alan? <laughs> 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 
It's just like that scene from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Now you play the same game again, the exact same game, except you're Alice this time and you're looking for Alan. I'm kind of remembering Mr. Scratch from, from the American Nightmare. Isn't he the bad guy? Okay, I'm kind of remembering what happened. Doesn't Alan, like, stay at the bottom of the lake to write and then Mr. Scratch takes Alan's place or something? Isn't that how it ends? Isn't that what happened? Oh, at least Deerfest came. At least Deerfest came. Rest in peace, Bitrate. Rest in peace, Bitrate. They're all so happy even though all those people died. Did we get the best ending? I'm pretty sure there's only one ending in this game. Oh, she's the new light lady. Hey, isn't isn't you dead? It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Alan, wake up. Um, it's playing, it's, it's, uh, it's playing Space Oddity, so I can't, I don't want to risk it. That's the credit song is Space Oddity. So, uh, there's no way I can mute the game itself and play this audio. So, you're going to be in silence. Check ignition and may God love be with you. Hello, friends. It's me, Wendy. This is ground control to Major Wendy. Uh, you really made the grade. Well, that was Alan Wake. Now it's time to leave the capsule, if you dare! This is where I do time to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. And I'm floating in the most peculiar way. And the stars look very different. Today, Dear, am I sitting in a tin can? Far beyond the world, planet Earth is blue, and there's nothing I can do. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam
Bam, bam, Past 100,000 miles. Do you guys don't like this? Our spaceship knows which way to go. Hell, my wife, I love her very much. She knows. Control to Major Tom. Your circuit's dead. There's something wrong, can you hear? <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I'm so tired, guys. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired, I can't handle this. Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. I'm like laying down on my table right now. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm like, I have my head down. <laughs> the stream could be dead for all I know and I'm sitting in the basement <laughs> looking at nothing, singing Space Oddity as Randy Newman <laughs> to myself in the dark. <laughs> what is, is this fucking life? Oh my God. Please play a song that isn't Space Oddity now. Am I fucking okay? No. Thank God, Shane White. What song play? How long are these credits? What the hell is this on my desk? Is this a rock? I don't know what else this would be. I think there's a rock on my desk. What the fuck is this? I just broke it. It's definitely... All right. The question is, do I put this in my mouth to test what it is? It doesn't smell like a rock. I can turn the music back up now cuz this is this is uh not ground control to major tom anymore. I don't know what it is. It's not a rock, it's an ocean. Fuck off. <laughs> it smells like there's spices or something, I don't know. What the hell is this? It this is Hmm. I'm gonna post a picture of what it is on my Twitter and you'll see it. Maybe not Twitter, because that'll confuse a million of my followers. Because I have way more followers than... What the hell is this? I feel like this is like a piece of crust. Like pizza crust. That's like... This is definitely like dried pizza crust. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Game test organization. GTO. This has to be my funniest stream? Wow. That's a real low point for me. That's an insult. I can't believe a person named Bodie Lee worked on this game in parentheses Volt. John Papa Birdie. John Papa. Steve Fountainhead. Kevin Dubby. 
<laughs> oh good, give me the Japanese localizations. Yari yari doze. Shimoto. Yari yari doze. Puh, bakana. Mudada. Just fuck my life. I'm not even looking at the chat. I'm just pretending. I'm pretending I'm sitting in this basement alone at night at 1 a.m. Just talking to myself. That's really what I'm doing when you think about it. Like, if the computer was turned off, that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting here talking to myself alone in the dark. Technology is pretty amazing. The fact that I'm just sitting here. Guys, do you want to play a game? Do you want to play a game while these credits go? I'm going to rub something on the microphone and I'm going to give you two guesses to what it is. All right. There are two options as to what that was. That was either a Donkey Kong amiibo or antidepressant pills. What was it? No, no, it wasn't anti. It was the Donkey Kong amiibo. This is the antidepressant pills. Planet Earth is blue. And there's nothing I can do. Alan Wake Special Game Test Organization. Can you imagine being part of that group? Being part of the Alan Wake Special Game Test Organization? Team? This madness has to stop. It's not gonna stop. This is like, I've, I've gone too far at this point. What's the point? What's the point of anything? Alan Wake is over. It's not a lake, it's an ocean, you idiots. How could you think otherwise? It's not a lake, god damn it. All right, here's a question. Would you like me to play Alan Wake American Nightmare at some point? <laughs> Excuse me. No, everyone is saying no. But don't you care? Don't you want to know what the what the lake and the ocean is? Don't you don't you want to know what hap what the lake and the ocean is? Yes, 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 yes. You guys want to see a behind the scenes? You guys want to see a behind the scenes look? Let me, let me do this. Hold on. Let me let me give you a behind the scenes look of what the stream is like. Let me, let me do this. Hold on. <laughs> this stream has officially hit rock bottom. I would agree. Hold on. No. Record. Okay, I'm, I'm recording a video. Behind the scenes video. 
there are you guys. Where did he go? There was oh, there he is. There's a big Kong over there. <laughs> I don't even know how I'd show this to you. I was going to put it on, um, hold on, let me do that again. Let me do that again. I can't believe these credits are still going on. <sighs> Welcome to a behind the scenes stream while we wait for the credits to end. There's OBS, and there's the game, and there's chat. And there's Donkey Kong 64 soundtrack in the background. And there's a Donkey Kong Amoebus. Alright, I'm gonna post that on Twitter so you guys can see the, uh, the, the, the what a stream is like. Alright, that'll be on Twitter. Also, it looks like Sunbunny sent me something. Let's see what Sunbunny sent me. Oops, I, I didn't even see it. I opened it by accident, and then it didn't. It didn't show me what it was. You have to send it again, Sunbunny. Please just do the art. No, we need to give these people. Look, there's a special thanks. We're at the end. While we wait for the credits to end, there's OBS, and there's the game, and there's chat, and there's Donkey Kong 64 soundtrack in the background, and there's Donkey Kong Amoebus. I got it again. Somebody sent me a picture of the stream and said, pull the trigger. And that's all she said. Coconut, performed by Harry Nilsson. All right, we're, we're dead with the music stuff now. Good thing we'll never play Mighty Number no. 9 with its credits. Oh, we'd sit through them all. Credits are important. Listen. Getting real. I'm going to be real. Whether you liked the game or not, I played the game the whole way through. And, you know, it was something that was made by people. People put this together from nothing. And I think it's important to, I think it's important to show, show their names. I, th I think it is. I think you have to give credit where credit's due. Even if it's shitty, even if you don't like it, even if the credits take a million years, I think it's important to at least show the people who worked on it. Especially when you're streaming. I think it's important to show them. Because the stream wouldn't be possible without these people. The Sudden Stop, written by Alan Wake. Departure, written by Alan Wake. Alan Wake's journey through the night will continue. Is American Nightmare this? I thought American Nightmare was kind of just like a spin-off. Is that really the sequel? Are they making an Alan Wake too? All right, well, that's that was Alan Wake. Uh, give me a minute, and I'll do the art. Um, I'll do the art. I'll be right back with the art. Please hold.
All right, I'm back. Okay, so the art tonight made me realize something. We really need to get the Buru back up and running because a lot of the art tonight isn't actually art. It's like edits and stuff like, you know, and that's fine to send on Twitter because that's where you're supposed to send it. So I feel like I really need to get a Buru back up just so people can post art because there's no, there's, with Twitter, I mean, like, if someone wants to ask what the song was at the beginning of Donkey Kong 64 like this, that's like, that's where they're supposed to do it. So I can't, like, filter through that. But if we have the Buru, then stuff like this won't be posted there, you know? You know what I mean? So I need to get that back up. I need to get that back up. So that's something I'll, I'll think about. Alright. So, yeah, that's why I don't t I don't tend to, like, I skip over stuff like this when I'm going through the art, because it's not really art. I still appreciate people, like, sending in stuff, but it's not, it's not art. So, yeah. Not sure why I'm sending this to you. Beautiful man MS paint, MS speed paint. Was this, was this drawn for the stream? I mean, I like him. I like him. He came out good. I like it. I think he came out good. I think he came out good. He looks like Grover, but if he pulled off his nose. See, like this also, stream Roblox. I'm not gonna do that, but this is the sort of thing that, like, I gotta skip through when I'm doing art. So I think a Buru would help. This is essentially exactly what just happened during that credit sequence. Just the, that's what the whole thing, you know? And this. Alan Wake was actually Zathura the whole time. See, that's funny. I like this. This is funny. But it's also not art, and I want to get a place to put art only, you know? Z you heard it f here first. Zathura is not art. Um... And, like, with the Buru. This is funny. I like this. But I don't know if I would... Like, I think that this is the sort of thing that wouldn't... No, I'm not... I don't mean to use you as an example. But I feel like this sort of thing wouldn't be allowed on the Buru. I'd have rules for the Buru, and I feel like it has to be art, you know? I feel like, like, this is really funny, I like this, but I feel like with the Buru, I would have specific rules, and it would be moderated, and stuff that isn't art, like edits and stuff, would get deleted. I think that's how it would have to work. Inspired by the 30 seconds of the stream you saw a while ago. This is sideways, so you have to tilt your head. Alan Wake does fucking jumps. <laughs> I think it's fair. It's fair because especially as the stream starts to grow, would I still would I only go to the Buru after streams? I'd only go to the Buru. I'd still look at stuff on Twitter, but I can't show as I'm starting to get more viewers, this would go on forever, you know? What would be considered art? Just drawings or YouTube videos too? YouTube videos too. Um like, if, if you want, I'll go through what I consider art and what I consider not art. Like, this, not. This, yes. Not stream-related. This, no. This, yes. This would be no. This would be no. This would be no, probably. Edits are still fine, but I won't- I don't think I'm gonna look at them on stream once I get a Buru up. Because the stream is starting to get bigger, you know? And it's like, it'll take forever. Uh, Alan Wake. Stupid shadow birds. <laughs> There'd have to be, it's because it's getting to be a lot. It's getting to be a lot. Can you, <laughs> I don't like the ear you drew on Yuka. I do not like this. I don't like that at all. Like, over half the most funny jokes are edits. Yeah, but but this is for art. There's a difference. It's something that would have to be moderated, because if every- Edits are really easy to make. And if I have, like- If I'm starting to get, like, 500 viewers, once that happens, I'd be sifting through edits, like, all night. There would have to be moderation. There would have to be. I mean... I think this makes sense. I think this makes sense. I mean, it's the same game when you really think about it. I really like the small versions. <laughs> the tracer from Overwatch is good. You're, k 
killing the suspense. Desk if you don't want to draw legs. See, that's what I do too. I'm not making up the rules for the Buru right now on stream. What is this? Oh, shit. Oh. You can tail spin at the edge of jumps to make them longer. Oh, shit. Okay. Good job on a new personal best. Smash it with the hammer. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Congrats on getting all the Pokemon right. Here's a Chimeco. You fucking know I got that right. I just wasn't thinking. Toaster Man is wrong, actually. Nobody says RK9. Maybe eight-year-old baby boys do. Alright, I think that's it. That's it. Alright, that was a shit stream. Too long. Too long. No more. No more. No more stream. No more stream. I need to go to bed. It's one in the morning. I'm going to bed. I will catch you guys. I missed some good art. Where's the good art? I didn't see any. There's literally- I literally didn't miss any. I didn't see any. No, because this is when I announced the stream right here. There's literally no more art. Alright, I'm going to bed. I will talk to you guys, um, tomorrow probably. Alright, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for sticking through.